CTV News, Vancouver Island Report. Good evening. Thank you for being here. The mystery surrounding several dead sea lions along Vancouver Island shores is getting a little clearer tonight. The Department of Fisheries says public input is helping, but a group of people who make their living on the water think they have the theory. CTV's Gord Kerbis reports. <laughs> A group of California sea lions are enjoying a sunny Friday in Fanny Bay. It's a stark contrast to the scene in some other parts of Vancouver Island where sea lions have been showing up dead. The concern is the area where we're getting the cluster, which is the Campbell River Comox area, which is the, the two, the three stellars. Sea lions are coming ashore elsewhere, but it's the ones in Campbell River, Oyster River and Comox that's creating the greatest mystery all headless and two of them with bullet holes. DFO says input from the public with timelines and photos have been helpful in sorting out part of the mystery. The Comox animal, the stellar sea lion, we were able to get uh, photos from the public taken prior to the information that we had from the original date. That one we were able to determine came ashore uh, intact, as similar to the one that was in one of the ones in Campbell River, the first one also came ashore intact. Both those animals were shot prior and then washed up on the beach. Some are pointing their fingers at commercial fishermen angry with the mammals' interference with their catches. But one group on the North Island believes part of the problem lies with the methods used by First Nations bands collecting mammals under special harvest agreements. I've seen harbor seals uh, flounced before, you know, I guess to the point of no skin on them and, and things left on the hollow, stuff like that. Dead seals, dead sea lions on the beach, things like that. You know, drive by a seal floating in the water. The group's members make their livings through jobs on the waters around Vancouver Island, often in close association with various bands. That's why their spokesperson has asked his identity be concealed. The group believes DFO needs to be more forthcoming with how many sea lion harvest licenses are issued. They also relay concerns that the guidelines are not always being followed. I think it's the blatancy, yeah, and the way you know, the way you just dispose of it like that and not, uh, I guess we don't know what's cataloged, how many are killed, the numbers, uh, you know, the ways, is it humane, is it not humane, you know. But the DFO's Paul Cottrell says there have been no recent licenses issued in the Comox Valley or Campbell River areas, and there's nothing to suggest these recent discoveries have anything to do with those First Nations agreements. I'm not going to get into the details of the communal license. Those licenses are issued for specific reason. Uh, it can be food, it can be social or ceremonial. DFO is once again asking the public to report any suspicious activities or provide any information they have on the dead sea lines to the Marine Mammal Response Network. Gord Kerbis, CTV News.